Houston, Texas, the fourth largest city in the United States, nicknamed Space City because it's home to NASA, and it's also home to the Houston Astros. My Seattle Mariners hated AL West rivals. Now let's get to the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners were headed to Houston for their first ALDS since 2001, after a huge and shocking comeback against the Toronto Blue Jays clinched a wild card round victory and secured a date with the hated Astros. Like, literally, I hate them. But if you're watching this, you probably know this wasn't just the Mariners' first ALDS since 2001, but their first playoff berth since then. That's when they had Ichiro. It's the longest professional drought in all American sports. So as soon as the Mariners clinched a trip to Houston, it was obvious that we had to go. So we packed our bags and we headed over to Houston, Texas. My second decision, going to Houston, just packed my bags. Gonna go watch game one and two of the ALDS between the Astros and the Mariners. We're about to bang on some trash cans and show the Houston Astros, really, who's the king of the AL West? And that's the Mariners. Let's go. Last time the Seattle Mariners were in the playoffs, I was in seventh, eighth grade. So I've never been really to a uh, Mariners playoff game before when I was a kid. Wasn't able to secure tickets. I didn't even know how to get tickets and my parents weren't gonna wait in line for that long. So this will be my first Seattle Mariners playoff game live. So, hey, when you wait 21 years and you gotta fly to Houston, you gotta fly to Houston. So. Uh, Houston, we're gonna be a problem. All right, so me and my brother packed our bags, headed out, you can see his profile pinned up top. We went to the car, of course, our father dropped us off. We live in Arizona now, not Seattle, so we headed over to the Phoenix International Airport where we were anxious and ready. You know, got our carry-ons only. It's a quick trip, less than a week, to Houston, Texas, and boarded the airplane, and we were ready to go. A slight background here on Houston. My brother's girlfriend happens to live in Houston. You're gonna see her in this video. She is a Houston Astros fan, but I would say she's more of a closet Seattle Mariners fan. And I felt like she was rooting for the Mariners harder than the Astros. So we landed in Houston and I went to the store in the airport. They had Astros jerseys and a bottle of whoop ass because we were about to whoop those Astros asses. So we got picked up by my brother's girlfriend, went through Houston traffic, a very trafficy city, and also a very, very wide and spread city. It took us over an hour to get to our location, stopped for a drink at the bar towards the end of the night, went back to the hotel, and then we had to say good night, Houston, because tomorrow morning, the Seattle Mariners are coming in their first ALDS game since 2001. All right, so we started off the day, game day, baby, ALDS, at a bar in Houston right by Minute Maid Park called Cobos. And it's full with Astros fans, obviously. We are in Houston. But we're lucky enough to meet up with the guys from Apollo Houston who interviewed me and my brother. If you don't know, we run the Sports on Tap Seattle page. And we do all type of Seattle sports and we have a YouTube channel. So you can go subscribe to that as well. So we got interviewed by the guys over there, rivals, but at the same time, they're really friendly. Now you can't say that about all fans, but these guys were awesome. Now we started heading over to the stadium to Minute Maid Park for game time. I'm uh, standing right outside of Minute Maid Park. And this is the first time I've ever been to a Seattle Mariners playoff game. So I couldn't be more excited. Like this is like one of the best sports moments in my whole entire life. So I can't wait. And I can't wait to show you what it's like inside. So let's go, Mary. All right, so we weren't sure if we wanted the roof open or closed today, and it's closed because it's humid as hell. Okay, I'm gonna show you some sweat. All right, let's see Sammy's sweat. Let's see it. Look at that. Oh, that's that sweat. I can't oh. really tell. No, you can't oh, tell. Right I promise it's, it's up oh, this year. Humidity. It's only 47% humidity. All right, but look, at I'm glistening. I'm glistening. As we were about to walk into the stadium, I found out that we were not allowed to bring stabilizers. The first stadium to not allow me to bring one. All right, so no stabilizers inside the stadium. So I had to throw it away, but that's all good. Uh, hit it behind a cone. We'll go find out later after the game if it's still there. Walked into the stadium and they handed me a towel. Huge mistake, because that towel is going to one place and one place only, and that's the track. Usually, I would walk around a stadium and get a full view of it, but it's a playoff game. Didn't have much time wanted to get to my seats for the first pitch. The Mariners were finally in the ALDS. 
I have to say the environment in here is absolutely electric. We just play off baseball. You know, we haven't experienced this in 21 years. I'm getting goosebumps in the middle of goosebumps. Man, I can't say how, I can't explain how excited I am for this moment. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we had to grab some quick beers before heading to our seats. Of course, man, you got to watch your baseball game. Some beers headed over to our seats, which were behind home plate in the upper deck, but row one. So we had some good views. Had my brother and his girlfriend with me. We're ready for the game. And the game started off hot for the Seattle Mariners. Justin Verlander, who is one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, was pitching for the Houston Astros. And we were able to get to him and get him out of the game quick. And that made me feel good. I was celebrating, I was excited, my brother was excited, and his girlfriend, I think she's a Closet Mariners fan, we even had some nachos, and we were feeling pretty good. 4-2 on Verlander, I don't even need to You got 4-2 on Verlander, he's the greatest day in America. Actually, it's actually better than Independence Day. Mariners. Mariners, I better. Woo! We're in the seventh inning. We're doing all right. Mariners are still winning. Um, don't want to get anyone on camera so no one gets mad at me. But the Mariners are winning the game. Seventh inning, 6 3, baby. But then, in the bottom of the ninth, disaster struck as Jordan Alvarez hit a walk-off to break me in the Mariners' heart. Get him Thursday, baby. Let's go. But that was tough. We'll see y'all Thursday. I guess the one bit of good news was I did find my stabilizer where I hit it after the game. So at least we got something good. Thursday morning, time for game two. Maybe the Mariners can get it done. All right, today is game two, and I am so excited. Now, my voice, as you can see, is not, not the best. The allergies, my eyes are puffy. Humidity here in Houston got me. So, uh, in general, it's really hard. It's not too hard to talk, but it's not the best. But right, let's get out there. Let's go to Minute Maid Park and let's take game two. And you're going to follow me there. Maybe we made a rookie mistake for the playoffs. We returned to the same bar, Kobo's, before game two. This time we met up with some other Seattle Mariner friends and we got ready for the game with some Jaeger bombs. Get us that hype, get us that energy. Let's see if it works. All right, second attempt at this. We got to plug in my mic last time. Almost game time, game two. Got it coolly. We got some Mariner fans in the background. Great ball out here. Having a really good time. Can't wait for game two. And uh, hopefully we uh, do a little better this one. So, Mariner. Me and my brother began walking to Minute Maid Park. And here's the thing. We talked about 21 years, loving sports, and what this win could mean to the Mariners. Or shit, if they won this series. It was time for game two. But this time, instead of beers, we opted for margaritas at El Tiempo. They're supposed to be famous, 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 really good margaritas. And I have to say, they tasted pretty good. And I would have to say, they tasted pretty strong. Just right for a game two playoffs. It made me feel right. So we had seats on the third baseline for game two. Actually, great, great seats. Loved it. We had a Ken Griffey Jr. fan right in front of us and a bunch of Mariner fans with the greatest sign back from 1995. 
the year I fell in love with the team refused to lose. So it was game time and it was time for me to also get a hot dog. I opted to go for the famous Crawford dog, $13.69, but it's a Houston staple at Minute Maid Park. So what makes the Crawford dog like so special is actually a potato bun that looks like a burger. Uh, we're gonna give it a try here. We got like a spaceship guy right behind us. Pretty cool. There you go, my man. Love the outfit. And this ghost drive. All right, we're gonna take a bite of his hot dog. Let's see what we got. Proper dog. Got basically a hot dog, mustard. It's like a burger hot dog. Pretty good. All right, dog was pretty good. Wanted to wash it down with a large Diet Coke. And can you believe it was $12.87 for a large Diet Coke? I don't know if that's baseball playoff prices or what, but it's time to get back to the baseball game where the Mariners were trying to win. Really? Were well, you going to break my heart? And, well, if you're watching this, you probably already know. My heart was the one that got broken. The Mariners went down 2 on, on the road to the Houston Astros. All right, it's always tough walking out of an opposing stadium down 2-0 playoff series. And to make matters worse, when we got back to my brother's girlfriend's house, a huge Texas storm came in. And we waited it out, but at the end, I couldn't wait anymore. The Astros rained on my parade, and it was time to run through. I'm going to back it up. All right, man, good luck. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> the next morning, it was off to the airport. And, of course, I wear an eye mask to get some sleep. Maybe I'm weird, but whatever. Now, the memories were great. I had a great time, ran into Seattle Mariner fans, and I know the Mariners ended up losing the series 3-0. But this Mariners team is the one that's going to keep us believing in the Mariners. Hey guys, I'm George Jarjour, and if you like videos about sports and travel, please, it'd mean the world to me if you can like and subscribe to my channel as I travel around the world covering sports and travel.